I can do something to, you know, change the lives of other people and do so in a way that is both kind <laughs> and functional, I'd like to do that. A lot of the different behaviors that we see and skills that we're trying to teach aren't just affecting the one single person that we're treating. Um, it's affecting their school life, it's affecting you know, their family at home, so it's really kind of looking at um, the client really as a whole unit. We had to do 1,500 hours of practicum. Kind of looked a lot um, like what I do now um, on the day to day. So that could include, again, doing different behavioral assessments, writing plans, um, doing parent intakes, as well as doing one on one therapy with the kiddos. We're really working to teach kids skills that they may not have right now. Um, that could include anything from helping them make new friends or, you know, teaching them which types of behaviors are appropriate based on different settings. It definitely changes the dynamic um, of their lives, both with friends um, as well as, you know, it's overall changing the family dynamic. I helped out in the functional analysis gambling lab um, with Dr. Wilson. She has a research lab with several different slot machines and different casino-related um, stimuli to try to see what motivates people to play on different machines. It definitely prepared us in a lot of ways. Um, I don't think that without that I would have been as prepared had it just been, you know, just coursework. So it was nice to be more hands-on and practicing those skills. There's different opportunities in OBM, so organizational behavior management. Um, so that could kind of look like changing different behaviors in a larger business type of setting, um, as well as, um, you know, kind of leaning more towards the research side, doing, um, you know, research with both human and animal subjects. I think everyone that in my cohort graduated with jobs all lined up.